So in some industries, we have regulatory compliance issues. And for those regulatory compliance issues, you sometimes have to report on uh, data that we're holding in our database. So SQL creates the has the ability for us to classify and report on data. And let me show you how this works. I'm going to expand databases. And I'm going to right click on AdventureWorks and I'm going to go to tasks and then data discovery and classification. And I'm going to start by classifying data. Now, there is something that uh, SQL does for us, and that is it will scan the database and come up with recommendations for classifications. Now, not all of these are going to be accurate. It gives them to us, and then we can choose what we want to do with them or not. So let me select that, and we'll see some of our classifications. And here are all of its su suggested classifications. And we'll see schema, table, column, and then what type of information it is and what sensitivity label we should put on it. So for example, in the human resources employee table, we have a birth date and a national ID number. And both of those, it says, fall under their uh, I information, national ID birth date, uh, they should be labeled as GDPR confidential. This is only going to be an issue if we are subject to that, which means basically we're operating in Europe. So we can accept their recommendations as are, or we can modify them here. So we can select the in, uh, column and then change it to whatever we think it should be. And then same thing with the classification. So if we want to accept the recommendations, then we just put a little check over here. If we don't, then we just ignore it. And so let me go through and I'll go ahead and do some things here in the person table as well. Scroll on down. We'll just grab a couple more. Um, all right, so that gives us some classification. Now, this is all stuff that uh, Microsoft... Uh, SQL Server found and assumed for us. Now, it does that based on the column name. If it does not catch everything, which honestly, it's probably not going to. If we're really going to be serious about regulatory compliance, we probably need to go through and uh, do some of these things manually. Now, I can accept the selected recommendations, and then I can add my own classification. So that's going to be here. Add classification, and then I can find it under schema. Let me do a sales one. I can go to table. Let's do credit card. Column, I am going to find the credit card ID. And I am going to say that is financial information. And I want to label that as highly confidential. And hit add. And that will now add it. And so I can go piece by piece through my database. And ideally, you've got a good database map when you're doing this. And so you can go through and classify everything. And once you have it all saved, and once you've got everything built, We've added all of our classifications. We can view our report, which may take a minute to generate here. And we actually haven't saved anything yet. So that's going to be a little bit of a problem. Let's go ahead and save these classifications. All right, classifications have been saved successfully. Whoops. Now let's go through and view our report. Okay, so to view the report, we can go back to tasks, data discovery and classification, and generate report. There we go. Now that it's saved, this is the report that we want to see. It will show us how many of our columns are classified, how many tables contain sensitive data, how many types of information. And this report is going to be used for regulatory compliance. So fortunately, Microsoft gives us this great tool to help manage that and generate that information for us.